Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to help Felipe Matos with uh, some storyline event switching uh, and like plot progression type thing. So this will be like a simple way to use move events with switches. And uh, Felipe asks, can you tell me how to make an NPC block the main character from going down some stairs, but they'll only move after the main character speaks with another NPC first? Um, and I've responded here, but I can understand how you know auto run events with move events and switches can be confusing but it let me break it down so it's very very simple and easy for you to do um, Felipe Matos so instead of pre-making it I figured it would be important for you to see all the steps so we've got our event here we're gonna assume that these stairs are uh, this this ice cave entrance is, is the staircase you're talking about we're gonna make this an NPC that looks like somebody we're going to insert a show text that says, you have to talk to Charles first before entering. I don't know, for some reason I want to put an E after every word. What we're going to do here is we're going to create a second page. So this event is going to be same as characters, action button, and we have a show text in there. But we're going to copy the page and we're going to paste it. So on the second page, what we're going to do is set the trigger to auto run. So as soon as the conditions are met, it's going to auto run. If we don't put any conditions, it's going to auto run this over and over and over. And that's all that's going to happen. So let's make a, a switch condition. So I've made a switch here called Talk to Charles. And it doesn't matter what you call it. You just select one switch. Set that as our condition. So if this switch is off, it's going to go to page one. If the switch is on, it's going to go to page two. It's auto run event. So what's going to happen in this auto run event is we're gonna set a movement route so that's under uh, pa uh, page two movement route but we need to set this to this event instead of the player so we select this this event um, in order pre to prevent crashing a good safety mechanism is to go skip if cannot move but in these particular events you don't want that to happen because uh, you want to leave that unchecked because the player might activate the switch and the movement move event can take place and the uh, if there's something in the way then the player is still blocked off so we're gonna keep that skip if cannot move on what we're gonna do is we're going to have this event um, walk left or move left move left and face down turn down now when you handle move events you have to make sure that there's nothing in the way so obviously if we were right here and we were to talk to this event it would kinda just freeze the game so what we're going to have to do is create some sort of obstruction that will stop us from walking in this uh, path. So let's go to our map layer. And we'll put some rocks in the way or something. And obviously you can make that look a lot better. And I guess we can have the event turn right instead of turn down so they're just they're facing so we'll edit this move event instead of turn down we'll delete that we'll go turn right we've got move left move left turn right <clears throat> that ought to work now we have to have some way to make that switch uh, turn on so we're gonna create Charles. Charles is gonna be over here. Doesn't really matter what we make Charles look like. There's Charles. And Charles is gonna ask us, hey, it's dangerous in the ice cave. Are you sure you want to proceed we're gonna show the player a choice yes or no you don't actually have to do yes or no you can just automatically have it trigger but inside the yes what we're gonna do is turn on that switch so we're gonna do to tab one control switches we're gonna select that condition of the other event talk to Charles and we're gonna turn that on so after we've turned the switch on Charles is gonna say good luck and be careful All right, so after we've done that, what we want to do is copy this page and paste it. That way we don't have to find the image again. 
Now we're going to select that this switch be on again. Because he already acknowledged that we're going to, we told him we were going to go into the cave. So what we're going to do here is we're going to copy this. The good luck and be careful. Actually, yeah, we'll delete it all and we're just going to paste that. So on this first page, we've got our show text, show choice. When the player says yes, turn on a switch and say be careful. And then it's going to go to this page because now we have our condition for talk to Charles on. So if we were to talk to him again, he's just going to tell us good luck, be careful. Over and over and over and over. He won't ask us if, if we're sure we want to go into it anymore. So it's important to understand how switches work. Now, when you're uh, dealing with events with multiple pages, it's always going to read from the right to the left. So if we had a page 3, it's going to check to see if page 3 can run. Can run. And if it has all the con conditions met, it's going to only run page 3. It, then it's going to check page 2, and if the events... Uh, if, we, if it doesn't have the events, uh, the conditions to run page three, it'll check page two. And at the beginning of the game, talk to Charles is off, so it's not gonna. It's gonna try to run page two, but it won't meet the conditions, so it'll go to page one. Talk to page. We talk to him. We turn on the switch. Then it's gonna stay on page two. Hopefully that makes sense. So once we've turned on that switch, it's gonna make his dialogue repeat uh, when th the same thing when you talk to him, and it's also gonna switch this page, page one, to page two. So this is gonna happen. But because this is an auto run event, it's going to happen over and over and the player this event is just going to keep moving until and it, it'll eventually be stuck somewhere and freeze the game. So what we need to do after this is control a self switch. So we're going to control a self switch, turn self switch A on at right after the move event happens. So we're going to copy the page, paste the page. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to select self switch A. We don't we don't actually need to have this switch on, but it won't matter if we do or not. So if uh, self switch A is on, <clears throat> we need to turn this trigger back to action button because whenever you have an auto run event it's going to keep running that auto, that event over and over and over until it turns the page <clears throat> so it'll just freeze the game if we don't do this last step so what's happening here we talk to this first event and it's going to run page one why well it's going to see if we can run page three but self switch uh, a isn't on for this event so it can't run that page then it's going to try to run page two but talk to Charles switch isn't on yet so it's gonna go to page one but there's no conditions for page one so if we would talk to this NPC over and over it's just gonna tell us that and then uh, if we talk to Charles it's gonna move the character uh, to the left twice and then it'll, the character will face right and then it's gonna turn self switch a on which will be back to an action button and then in this one we want to turn this off and this off and then now this NPC is gonna say be careful or good luck Now, if we talk to this event after all that's happened, it'll just say good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, and that's all that's going to happen. So let's take a look at this event now and watch it play out. You have to talk to Charles before entering. You have to talk to Charles before entering, and that's all that's going to happen. No matter how many times we talk to him, we're not going to be able to get into that ice temple. But if we go talk to Charles, it's dangerous in the ice cave. You're sure you want to proceed. If the player says no, nothing's going to happen. We can still go over here. You have to talk to Charles first. We so we didn't uh, we we weren't sure we wanted to enter, but now we're going to say yes. So he's going to say good luck and be careful. Now take a look what happens over here. So she moved out of the way, and now we can enter the ice temple. And if we talk to this NPC again, she just says good luck. And if we talk to him again, it says good luck and be careful. No more choices or anything. So we're able to go into the ice, camp, ice temple. So hopefully that helped you. Um, Felipe Matos, thank you so much for your special request. Um, it's not that complicated, right? If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. If anybody has any uh, requests, even if there's something simple, that's okay. We all got to learn uh, these simple, basic fundamentals before we can uh, use them as stepping stepping stones to do more crazier stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. You guys are so awesome. We'll see you in the next episode.